Hey everybody! Hey, what's up? <laughs> we're back. Another top five, and now we're getting into the the dirty, the gritty, the awful. Uh, we're getting into the worst movies of the year. And Man, am I glad you qualified that about movies for a second? I thought you were going to talk about your anal experiences. <laughs> and like we're we're heading into territory. We've talked a lot about most of these movies already. I have a feeling we're going to have some overlap on this one. Uh, so. Yeah, this one I think uh, more than the the last one we're going to have a lot of overlap. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. Well, Jared, it's your channel. Why don't you start us off? Okay, so my number five is actually the tail end of last year, but it was very early this year, too. Okay. It kind of looped around Assassin's Creed. It was like December. I, we, I'll allow it. We, I, this is one of those movies that was so bad it was good for me. And I, it's just so laughably awful. Dude, this is the first Which movie. kind of contributes into my number five, actually, as to how much it doesn't understand its source material uh, and what made it great. Yeah, this was one that I just... I very rarely fall asleep during movies. This was one I fucking just... I, I fell asleep for roughly 30 minutes. Like, you even looked over, you knew there was no saving me. Oh you're no! Like, you were I, like, I tried oh. to wake you up twice, and it was like, yeah. You no. were like, uh, 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 and he's out. <laughs> yeah, pretty and, much. And, I'm surprised you didn't wake up because of how hard I was laughing at some uh, points. Yeah, but it was one of those that I just I couldn't do it. I I was out. I yeah. fell the fuck asleep. Uh, that's that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yep. Well, all right. My number five, and I have a piece written for this, so oh, excuse Christ. me for a moment. Ghost in the Shell. A remake no one asked for, no one wanted, but we still needed in order to remind us of our hubris. With a movie that missed the mark of the original's point, not only with liberal sprinklings of, <laughs> remember this from the original that was shot in live action, none of which, by the way, look nearly as good as a movie that is now nearly 20 years old in animation, to an ending that on its own would have been a masterstroke of stupidity in how little sense it makes, but is further compounded by the lack of listening to, or at the very least, not thinking about alterations in response to the backlash of those calling the movie out for whitewashing its source material, with a literal white woman inhibiting the mind of an Asian woman. <laughs> Nobody thought this was a good idea! And yet, somehow, when people started going, oh, you're just replacing Asian actors with white people, they're like, no, we're not doing that, we're not doing that. We're absolutely doing this. Yeah. yeah. I will we made a review about it. It's awful. You can go watch that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even come close to making a recommendation to watch that movie. No. Okay. So, uh, my number four. Yep. Unfortunately... Fastbender, you, you get two slots this year. Okay. Snowman. That was my honorable mention. I just... Once again, Michael Fastbender just put me the fuck to sleep. I just... I didn't care at all. This movie takes so long to get to the point that I we're like... We were, what, hour, hour and a half in before... Yeah. Like, somebody got killed or anything. Right. The fucking... I know this is based off a very popular book series. I'm looking into uh, reading some. Um, that, that supposedly is really good, but this is just one movie adaptation. We did a review on it that, uh, you know, uh, most of the stuff on my list are movie adaptations of other things. Right. That are just... Not good. I I put this in as my honorable mention because this was obviously a movie that was shot with a lot of care. The cinematography yeah. and uh, the presence of everything shouts to the absolute highest power that it was made with love. Like, the people who made this clearly wanted to make a good movie. Visually, it was stunning. Visually, I, it's I will stunning. admit that it was. Amazing it's just visually. somewhere between the writer, the director, and the editor 
something Something happened. fell apart. <laughs> yeah. Because it's nigh unwatchable, just based on the story alone. The ADR is so and bad. And the ADR is bad, too. yes. I went back and rewatched our review of this, trying to see where I wanted this to fall, and I was like, I probably just need to make an honorable mention. Uh, All right. Number four. Number four. What do I have as number four? Uh, Baywatch slash Chips. Shit ton of undated, of dated, unfunny humor, most of which stems from the idea of you're watching something based on something really stupid. Uh, you and know. you should feel stupid too. So here's a joke or two about eating ass. <laughs> and about a dude getting his dick stuck in a beach chair. Uh, this is kind of funny because this actually fell at the same spot on our list. Oh, did it? This was... I bundled these two together at number three. Oh, really? Yeah, this is complete, like, coincidence. <laughs> yeah, like, we didn't talk about any of this before no, we got together. We had no conversation about this at all, but yeah, these these bundled in together um, for my number three. Um, I think we're uh, going to do, like, the reverse one and two, or maybe the same thing. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell because I'm pretty sure I know what's going to inhibit our number two, one and two slots. <laughs> it was. They were not good, I will say that. Alright, well, what was your number four then? Number four? Dude, we're at two. No, we're at number three then. Three was if Ben my... watching Chips. For you, that was my number four. Oh, that was your number four. That was my okay. number four. Oh. Okay, never mind. So that was my three. That was your three. Yes. Okay. What was your three? My three is Pirates of the Caribbean five. Okay, that one actually didn't make my list. So okay, so well this good. is good then. Uh, it's all of the shenanigans in the most massive quotes you can possibly frame around shenanigans <laughs> without any of the charm of the first three movies. So basically, without any of the charm of the first movie. Yeah. And none of the reason of the, th the next two movies. <laughs> All around, it's just a bunch of rehashing shit we had already seen Johnny Depp do. Yeah. And at this point, it's just boring and tired. And everybody involved really looked like they wanted to be doing something else. Yeah, yeah, I will, I will definitely agree with that. Okay, so I guess it's time for my number two. Your number two. Um, Flatliners. Flatliners? Flatliners. Not even close. That I just brushed off as a kind of crappy movie. Flatliners fell so high for me because there was just so much like trying to to copy some source the source material and it just it was bad. I didn't have fun. And it it was that movie that just made no God damn sense. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And I was, it made me angry. Like, I really? just. I never got angry at this movie. I sat there and I was like, man, this is really dumb and boring. But I was never actively enraged at it. I, I was because it's just, they went to the point to make no goddamn sense. And the scene that did it for me. Um, there were two, there were two things that did it for me in this movie that just pissed me off beyond no belief. Okay. Um, number one was, uh, the fetus baby that wasn't dead at all. This baby was alive, so this kid had no reason to have this ghost demon thing right. hunting him. Like, the only one of those who made sense was, uh, Ellen Page's little sister. Yeah. Um, and also the second one... But then it turns out that it's all in their head anyway, so... But then at the end, it turns out that she's trying to claw her way back from the other side. Yeah, so... Um, the, I don't know what's going on here. See, that That's the other part where, um, the girl's driving the car, mm -hmm. and somebody throws the bag over her head and, like, starts choking her. Right. And then it goes to an outside shot of the car, and there's nothing on her face. But then it cuts but right back joking. into the car. Where there's, it's like, what the fuck are you trying to do? It it didn't define itself well as to whether it was happening in their heads or not. And if it was, why was it having a physical repercussion to them? 
Like when the dude got stabbed in the hand. Yeah. Did he, did something happen and he like cut himself and he saw that as being happened? Or was his hand just fine and he just imagined this? Also, this, I think... Or did he stab himself in the hand? Also, I think it also plays so highly on my list because I saw a girl I know. And she told me this movie was good. And, God damn it, Alicia, I don't know if you watch these fucking videos. <laughs> you are wrong. You and your boyfriend are just wrong for telling me this is a good movie. Okay. Uh, that that's I'm done. That's, okay, that's okay. my number two. Sean. That's your number two. Go. My number two went to the Mummy. Oh Jesus Christ! I forgot about that movie this year. Honestly, I wrote Tom Cruise tries too hard for about two hours. <laughs> Nothing is scary, and they try to set up a cinematic universe by cramming as much crap as they can without any setup for it and without making a good foothold. Making a first movie. Yeah, the whole point of this movie was to give Tom Powers, uh, Tom Cruise superpowers. Right, but it really doesn't matter in the end because they made a really shitty movie. <laughs> the, no, they're still they, fully planning moving forward with this universe. How? Russell Crowe is... Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde makes no sense. Uh, I liked Dracula and Told uh, more than I did this one. I thought that should have been... Dracula and Told was a piece of shit. So. Dracula and Told was not... It was so you believe, it had its moments. You believe but, the Dooku can still work? <laughs> I not really, but Dracula and Told was far better than this piece of crap. I'll I'll give you that. But yeah, uh, the mummy just it tried to it tried to be too many things and the whole thing with the best friend was ripped straight off of American Werewolf in London. Yeah. Which is a vastly superior movie. I will also agree with that sentence. And just every time they cut back to doing stuff, I'm just like, <sighs> I'm bored. Uh -uh. Well, we did a review on it, so we did. So you can go watch that. Um, my honorable mention goes to a movie that visually I, I thought was really good, but story wise, also first, this is the first attempt. At an adaptation of this, Valerian. Yeah. Uh, this is another movie I contemplated about. It kind of came down to the mummy and Valerian for me for the number two slot. Yeah. But when it came down to it, Valerian looked so good, I couldn't place it in the same category. The mummy was drab, boring, and just bled to look at. Valerian, at least, visually caught my eye. I, like few movies do. I think, like, my... My biggest problem with this movie, like the reason it only is honorable mention, not anywhere on my actual list, is the like you said, visually it was good. It's just this could have been a good movie. This movie has yes. so much potential, but the casting is wrong. Like I don't well, know about wrong, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely directed badly. I well, it's the two main characters who are supposed to be madly in love have no goddamn no. chemistry. No, like I don't think Dane DeHaan and Cara Devine like each other at all in real life. Like I don't think they, they may can, be perfectly fine friends. We don't know. Yeah, but it's just they don't act like people in love, and the characters didn't act. Like people in love, it just didn't make any sense, and also the source material for Valerian is really good. It's a really interesting right. story, and it turns out Loreline's from the past. Yes, and there's time travel involved, and it's a fun. This is a, the number one French comic of all time. Yes. So, how did you screw something up? Like, uh, you handed it to Luke Besson. I guess that's that's pretty much it. All right. Um, so I guess we are at we are at number one, one, and I think I think we both know what movie has to be number one. Um, you wanna why Why don't we do it at the same time? Okay. All right. On three. One, two, three. Transformers. Transformers the five! Last Knife. <laughs> this movie was. I think that's the only review we've ever started off saying. 
movie sucks ass, and we are going to spoil the dog. Those are our All exact I wrote words. For we're this, spoiling the dog. Like every, tonight. I have I have reams of notes here for every movie on this list. The only thing I wrote from Transformers Five is I legitimately don't remember being this angry at this movie. No, Sean gets very I, emotional. I went and watched it. I I was yelling mad, and I'm like, I don't remember getting this angry. But apparently, Transformers Five made me that angry. And I'm just like, I don't remember this. I'm really embarrassed. Don't go watch that review. It's awful. I remember, like, warning you, because I saw it twice, and I warned you how bad it was. Right. Like, uh, and any time people came to buy tickets for it, they were like, is it good? I'm like, it's it's awful. <laughs> it's, I, I recommended other things. I was like, it's... It's not good. Yeah. Like, some were like, well, it was either this or Valerian. I was like, Valerian's fun to look at. Yeah, like, at least it has that going for it. No, Transformers 5 is just the cream of the crap. I think it's... I redirected people to Wonder Woman. <laughs> back to Wonder Woman. I'm like, if you've seen Wonder Woman, go see it again. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's the best thing you can do about that. It but was... It, oh, my God. Uh, just a whole bunch of stupidity and... I think the big thing is that this is the fifth movie they've made now that is basically the exact same movie, and it was only barely interesting in the first one. They they did a lot of, like, sins for me in this movie because um, I am a huge, huge, like, King Arthur... Mythical Legends, mm. stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I've seen every episode of the show Merlin. I, I love Arthurian legend and old you do you really, really enjoy that show. Um, yeah, it's like that's why I. It did make it anywhere on my list this year, but I enjoyed King Arthur. I didn't like it, it was it was forgettable but decent. Yeah, like I got to see a magic sword be a magic sword for the first time ever. Now but, you know it's a Transformer, Yeah, the, You turn goddamn Excalibur and Merlin's staff into Transformers. And Merlin's a drunk. Merlin's a drunk a-hole who just uh, is summoning Transformers using a Transformer staff to summon a three-headed Transformer dragon. Yeah, he just that, walks up to their ship and is like, Hey! And, Come fight this war for me! And like... I gotta go drink! And then there's, like, the whole um, uh, Nemesis Prime storyline with Optimus where that's it's a different... resolved in, like, 30 seconds. That's, like, a character... And it's, like, half your first act. Yeah, it's a character that's not even... They're not the same character. Also, the, the story they set up for the sixth one, which, God, I hope they don't do. Oh, they're doing it. But, um, the, uh, with Unicron being the Earth. The only thing I can give this movie is the editing in it is borderline experimental. Uh, it just is all over the place. I don't know what the dude who edited this was on. I kind of want some. Yeah. <laughs> because if it got him to that kind of a place, fuck could I get shit done. <laughs> Like, this is one of those movies where I I kind of sit down and I'm like, this is the result of somebody milking something for all it's worth and they don't know when to stop. So Hollywood. It, it's terrible. It is, Transformers at this point is the personification of everything wrong with Hollywood. Yes. It's a giant money-making machine that puts no effort into it, actively shits on the people who watch it, actively hates the people who got it where it was, and actively disrespects the people who adore the original that supported the idea of this coming to the big screen. To to sell stuff. To, to make a profit. Well, every movie is made to make a profit. Well, yes, but... But... For all the things that this does wrong and all the people it slights and slanders and just misrepresents, it continues to generate money. And I think that 
the fact that more movies that are so much better and so much worth more potential lose out because people look at the bottom dollar of shit like this generating more and more money is what makes a little part of me die every single time I hear one of these coming out. Um, the reason I'll say this compared to uh, another remake of something from my childhood this year, Power Rangers. Um, I hated that movie, and I'll say it was better than Transformers any day um, of the week. I know you hated it. I actually went back and, like, you know, I've watched it, and I've watched interviews. They tried. They, I'll give them that. They did. They, they really tried, and the actors and everybody involved in it loved the source material. Yeah. You could tell that they wanted to try and tell a story. It did not go 100% the way they planned, but right. God damn it, they gave it their best effort. And if it ever got a sequel, because of all the trying they did in the first one, I think the second one would actually be much better and run smoothly. It's it's a very big possibility. Uh, I went back and I watched somebody else do. I watched the Brad Jones Midnight Screenings after we did ours because I try and not see some of these when I know we're going to do reviews of them. Yeah, I went back and watched his, and he brought his friend uh, Louis Lovig on, who, who uh, is the internet reviewer Linkara. That's yeah. about the fourth wall. He is a massive Power Rangers fan. And he was talking about all the different things, and they had little side things, like the straight names would be different towns from the show. Yeah. And he's like, this is a little minutia that really big hardcore fans would get. And I'm like, okay, they probably did a lot more than what I was seeing. Maybe I'm because I just have a huge disconnect with the source material at this point. Yeah. It came across very clunky and ham-fisted to me. But apparently for people who have been long-running fans... There was way more for it. Yeah. So uh, I wholeheartedly agree with that. That's why I did not hate it like you did. I like, I didn't even hate it. I just it was like, man, this like. Shit. But I think like like I have the same level of passion about Power Rangers that you have for Transformers. So I completely understood why you were so angry because I don't have that connection with Transformers, and I know a bad movie. It's like I but, don't know you. Uh, I mean, I that was Power Rangers was my time. You're you're a few years older, and Transformers is your generation. You damn kids don't know what a mecca is. <laughs> oh, Uncle Sean will learn you. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um, this movie it sucks so so bad. I I could find absolutely nothing redeeming about it. The only thing, like I said, the only thing worth talking about was the editing, and even then it was only for how batshit insane it was. Yeah, and I think if we... I like, think, I could find good things to say about Chips and Baywatch yeah. more than I could about uh, Transformers 5, and Baywatch and Chips pissed me off to no end. I remember. I, I very much remember, and I know, like, it kind of holds a tie, because it was pretty much like shitting on the fans of the original... It, but in two completely different ways, but right. equally with as much hate. Well, like I said, the, the reason this scores so much higher is because this has gone on for so long. Yeah. And at this point, I, I don't understand why. Uh, Nobody really likes these movies, but they constantly make a profit. Yeah. I'm, I'm just... I'm going to stop talking about it there. Yeah, I'm getting angrier. I need to go take blood pressure medication now. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to say we'll, we'll see you next year for these... For these... Um, there's actually one movie I left off both lists because it came out this month that I was really shocked about and thought it would make the worst list, but it would actually be put on the best list if I had done movies released in December. Right. Yep. But, but uh, I have a feeling we've done a review on that by now and it's already out. No. No, no have not, not, that not one. Okay. that one. Yet. Never mind then. All right. Um, I will, well, well, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next year, and hopefully the movies get better. We had a pretty good run for movies this year. Well, we had a pretty bad run, too. It was a mixed bag. Overall, I feel the movies for this year were good. Um, like, grand total, we had more good ones than bad ones. But it was still a narrow call. Yeah, there was many that could have gone either way and just slightly went one way or the other. Right. 
All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Later.